Now we'll jump into the world of Winnie the Pooh and Nicky and Minnie as we learn about life in the cartoon world with my guest, Al Baruch, an original animator for Walt Disney, and Edward Schneider, gallery director for Film Arts Cartoon World Animation Art Gallery in Huntington, Long Island. Well, thank you both for joining us here today on Metro Guide. Thank you. Now, Al, what an interesting past you have. You've actually worked on the original Peter Pan and Lady and the Tramp. What did you do well, for Disney? It was a Disney? wonderful experience. Uh, when I went for Disney in 1953 and I went to the studio, they hired me as a, in the art department, and I was an in-betweener. An in-betweener was a gentleman that did all the action drawings on the cells after the animator gave you a character. I worked mainly in Peter Pan on the crocodile and in Lady and the Tramp on Jock. I filled in on many other cases situations that was required. A very rewarding experience for me was when I was doing uh, Peter, uh, Lady in the Tram and Jock. The gentleman that did the voice was not there, and I had to do the voice, and I used my voice on it. Did that? Yes, I used my voice on it. Oh, I had a real Scottish voice today, something like that. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's wonderful. Are you going to sketch a little something for I'd us? I'd be very happy to, very happy to. Okay. I'd be happy. I'm going to do a few drawings, some from Peter Pan and some from Lady in the Tramp. Great. Okay. Good. We'll, we'll start now. And, and, and Ed and I will keep talking. Great. Because there are some things that are a little bit unclear about the world of uh, purchasing animation, which has become a really big hobby for a lot of people very collecting big hobby. it. Now, you often hear the word, word sell. What does this refer to? Okay, the cell is the actual piece of art. It's a hand-painted piece of art that goes under the camera. It's photographed over the background. So every piece of animation starts out off as a drawing. Mm -hmm. And once those drawings are approved by the supervisors, it goes to the ink and paint department, where the cell is a painting on a piece of clear acetate, plastic, and clear so it could be shown, you could see the background through it. So the cell is the actual flesh and blood of the character going under the camera. Are there a lot of those? Are, can people well, just go out and buy them? Are enough to keep the market satisfied? One is the things that are pre-60s, that's when all the studio photos start out. So it's all considered byproducts. So those are very historic pieces. Now that there's a market for this, the studio save all the art for all the newer cartoons. So it's not as historic. We can get a classic scene from a cartoon that you were looking for. Well, so a lot of them have been lost then. Yes. It's like a treasure hunt. I could have somebody asking me for a particular piece from Disney, and it could take years before I find it or until we figure out that there is nothing available. Mm. That's amazing. Well, what do we have here? We got the crocodile. Oh. The croc there is a real good.